directed by Tyler Gillette and Matt Bettinelli Olpin. I hope I got the names right. It starred the Melissa Barrera as Sam Carpenter and Jenna Ortega as Tara Carpenter and tells the story of these two sisters after the events of the last screen movie as they head to New York to try and cope with the events of what happened until a new Ghostface killer is out to try and kill them and their friends and anyone who gets in their way. So this is basically just another screen movie but taking place in New York and we get a lot more focus on the main sisters here in this movie sure we got a few old cast members from the previous films coming back but this movie is mostly about these two sisters and trying to cope with what happened to them before and how they're able to I finally be a family once again since they were separated for a long time and only through these unfortunate events they had they came together and so that kind of situation learning to trust one another and learn to accept one another in each other's life is hard for them and I liked how the movie was able to explore that very well explores the flaws and advantages of our characters and let us care for them more as whenever they're in a horrific situation. Um, Ghostface himself as a villain is probably the best. The reveal of the killer, um, I'll get to that in my negatives, but overall, Ghostface himself in costume how he how he is in this movie it is so unpredictable and so ruthless this is probably my favorite portrayal of the Ghostface killer uh right behind the original um it's a really good portrayal and something different he doesn't like trip on a lot of stuff like a cartoon character like in previous movies where that sometimes happens a lot and that's just to show that this guy's just a human but here he feels dangerous, unpredictable and sometimes unworldly and I love that aspect of the film and it doesn't stray far away from unbelievability unlike a certain hollow horror uh, franchise that I love um, yeah, yeah, that's another topic. Um, but yeah, Ghostface here is really great. All the casts do a great job. The new faces here are all pretty good. Um, the old cast members, I would have loved to see more. But honestly, I'm kind of also relieved that we don't get as much with them. Because... As a movie that's trying to focus on building these new characters, they're able to give these old characters at least enough characterization to where they don't overstay their welcome and they don't overshine over the new characters, but you still have fun watching them. The movie is also well directed. The horror sequences here are really suspenseful and really well done. The mystery behind everything was really good. There's a lot of unpredictable moments that kept me guessing of who the killer is going to be. Just overall, the first two acts at least, I thought was a great scream movie and something that I would probably watch over and over again. I, I actually was loving the movie until the last, uh, the third act. Um, there, in the third act, it undoes a lot of moments from 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 before, and it made those scenes a little less impactful than they should be, and it eventually kind of makes this movie a little bit bloodless in a way. Even though there was a lot of suspense before, the third act 
kind of killed all that in my opinion. It delivered, at least in terms of characterizations for the sisters, a good conclusion for their arc in this movie. I think it was, I think it, it could have found a way to make it better. Um, I just think that the way they handle things overall, I think undermined the rest of the film and just took it to a direction I liked, but in order to do that, they had to compromise the rest of their film and it kind of lost me at that moment. Um, so it just went from being a great screen movie to a alright screen movie that I could put on, have fun, but I'm probably not going to rewatch it unless I'm marathoning the screen movies uh, back to back. But I do not hate the movie still, I still think it's well directed. I still think the first two acts are still great and still had some good suspense before it got ruined. Uh, the characters are all entertaining and fun. The cast did a great job. This is a very well shot movie and it uses the New York location to its advantage. The, the deep alleyways, uh, the buildings, the people around the city how Ghostface is able to hide in in a crowd of people, kind of like how Michael Myers could hide in a crowd of trick-or-treaters. Um, and the setting of Halloween here, I thought fitted very well here. I would have probably had a little bit more fun if it was released on Halloween, but overall, Scream 6 is just a good movie. Uh, the third act uh, could make or break the movie for you. To me, it kind of broke it, but I still overall enjoy it. The stuff I enjoyed from before was able to overshadow what I didn't enjoy later. But still, this is not a perfect movie. I expected this to be better. Um, but And overall, um, I would say I would recommend it if you're a Scream fan. I would say this is probably still a good time. Um, but if you're a horror fan in general and like a good story, I don't know if this is going to work for you or not. Because sometimes the third act, could, which leaves the last impression for you, could make or break the experience. So... These are my overall thoughts on Scream 6. I'm going to give it a B. Um, overall, I like it. It's not one of my favorite horror movies or one of my favorite Scream movies. But still, I had a good time and I would recommend you guys check it out. Even if you are a big fan of the Scream franchise like I am. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment and I will see you guys next time.